Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 12 of Mendel's Bees. And I had a, a bit of an issue where I didn't light up my platform and mob spawned. But uh, let's go ahead and grab like four of these in an interval of this chest. There we go. And I want to make a spot loader. Which should be a quest. Hey, there we go. And that would be miscellaneous mods. There we go. That'll give me two more, which is awesome. And now chunk loaders available, huh? Which is nine spot loaders. All right. Playing on server, do not load more than you need. Server owners don't like the extra strain on the server memory. Yep. It's multiple chunks, and this is one chunk per you know, the, the chunk that it's in, right? Oh, yep. These frames broke finally. Oh, oh look at that. Under a cold comb. And kind of catching up a little bit. I've got... I had 11 of these energetic combs, though, over in my... Uh, my energetic bees. Uh, apiary. But I just popped over the nether to see if they were doing anything. And it looks like even with the uh, FTB utilities chunk loading, it's unloading the chunks. It's like it's unloading the dimension or something. I don't know. So I'm going to go pop a spot loader over there and make sure that those bees keep producing. Oh, look. You died again. Yeah, I was right on the ground. River and river. And be calling down those wonderful shadow bolts. <coughs> so, here we go. Gonna toss that down there so it lights up the platform. And for the most part. And, ah, cool. We're all within a trunk. Well, those two bees are anyway. So, it means that'll work. And hopefully they'll keep running without any issues now. Uh, next thing is I need to get some frames going, I think. Always with the frames. Or apiaries. And let's see. Or, well, alviaries, I should say. But they take frames as well, so... I would really love to get some sort of auto-crafting set up. That, I think, would be pretty handy right about now. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to right-click that. That would have been awesome if you could right-click, like, the melon or the stem or whatever and have it spit up, but... Nope. Tis not to be. Uh, that can go into there. I've got 22 magic wax. Hey, 23. Sweet. And I'm getting some juicy drops, finally. Redstone's always wonderful. But the king of all right now is still... Still honey. So these first they craft, okay. And then these will run through a carpenter. With no no liquid needed, which is nice. If nothing else, it'll condense down that stack a little bit. Alright, your honey is done. That'll make us two more. And the cool thing is, I actually have 27 more alviaries. And it's speeding up quite a bit not having to worry about. Well, you know, running industrious and imperial bees through, through apiaries. Because that is, like, just really slow. Now let's do a quick status check. And well, business bees are still going. Mm 
Yep. And I harvested that to throw the stuff in here. And let's see. I'll get some food in me. Right, let's see what else we got in the quest book here. Uh, better solar panels, diamond wand. That's the thing. I need volcanic and aware bees in order to make ender storage. Dimensional cake. End cake requires eight eyes of ender. You place powder, which I can get those from Dante, Pyro, or Apocalyptic Bees. Also, fiery combs and blaze combs, which comes from volcanic bees. Fiery comes from fiery. How do I get fiery bees? Supernatural plus ethereal requires lava as a foundation. Which I can make lava, technically. So. Just uh, basically dirt and phosphor. Oh, hey, you're leaden. Cool. Uh, dirt and phosphor and a squeezer. So it's not, not terrible. And just a wheat and comb. What are you at? You're dripping. And more dripping. Honey. Honey and nothing. Oh, got one other worldling. And another wheat comb. Yeah, effectively, we're kind of at the point where it's just produce as much honey as we can right now to make more alberries. The thing is, is I also want other resources. So, yeah. Now let's put our juicy drops in here for now. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and, I guess, put that away. And I'll put my, my wheat and combs in here as well. And the spot loaders can go in there for now. Same with, like, clay blocks. And I'm thinking it might be about time. You and a squeezer produce seed oil, right? So, what else produces good amounts of seed oil? Uh, well, seed oil capsules, of course, do. That's uh, all 10. 50 from these cherries. From Benny's cherries, but I don't have access to Benny's stuff yet. All right. But yeah, the Benny's stuff actually does pretty good. Uh, chestnuts from Pam produce 150 as well. I want a crop, though. Uh, let's see. For, like, peanuts, right? Uh, walnut, pecan. Unfamiliar item. Produces a little bit of mulch every once in a while, it looks like. Hey, pumpkin seeds produce 10 mill buckets. But usually Pam's peanuts are pretty good about producing seed oil. And I could have a bigger farm of them in a smaller area without... There we go. 120. A little monkey with my math a little bit, but once I get a dedicated squeezer just for seed oil, it'll be less of an issue. There we go. You can go into there. And we'll go over here and be like, hey, take a talk to me, would you? Let's see, you're still repairing stuff. Uh, let's put that pheromone frame in there too, I guess. No, not that. This. You're working on that proven grafter now that I got from my uh, my junk bees. That was actually a pretty good find. Now, my business bees, did they get enough to sell? No. So, let's see. More cherries and string probably should go over here. Because that way I can just be like, hey, uh, make some frames, would you? And then we'll we'll turn those into magic frames. And we're going to go put these in the arcane bee over here. In the hopes that it starts producing a lot more magic wax. Although, I could make another alviary. I do have the blocks for it. And let's see. Oh, hey. 
More honey. But yeah, I'm thinking... I mean, this setup, it, it's compact, but it's very cramped when you're walking in between these things. Also, tons of bark. Zinc. Hey, some copper. Nothing from you. All in and real jelly. Also, just tons of combs. Hey, just so many combs building up. And, yep, just that. Put that away. This is kind of where I'm at right now, though. I don't have a whole lot of automatic solutions right where I'm at. I could make build craft pipes now, and... What just did the green... I know you do green, but why were the particles all the way... Oh, because you poisoned the butterfly. Okay. Good on you. I could get into build craft, I guess. But I need, like, to filter things, I need diamond pipes. With my current setup, it's not... I mean, it might pick things up a little bit. I and mean, what I could do is I could pump items out of here and into a chest. But it would be hard for me to uh, pump items out of here and get them to go where I need them to go. That's why I haven't really bothered with the piping thing yet. And this bee is just, you know, enjoying the warmth in there. Okay, let's go to quest book though. So in cakes out of reach for now. Uh, Flex networks is technically available. One thing, one thing very well allows you to transfer RF power wirelessly in the world to other dimensions. You need a controller is the heart. Uh, plugs let you insert power from a power source into the network. Points pull power from the network into you know machines or whatever you put it on. Then you have to make sure to assign the, the plugs and points. Everything needs to be chunk loaded for it to work. Plugs are one of the very, very few uh, blocks that allows transferring power from an energy bee without needing some sort of storage first. Cool. Problem is, if I remember correctly, those things need an insane amount of ender pearls, right? Uh, let's see. At, at flux. Alright, to make the controller to start off with, I need five flux blocks. I need, oh, an item I can't make yet. Okay. And a flux core. Flux blocks are ender energy conduits in the middle. A flux and flux cores. A flux core is four obsidian and an eye of ender to make four of those. So yeah, I should probably get that going too. How are my dirty dirt production bees doing? They're producing a lot of clay, getting a little bit of dirt. Thing is, I'm going to need a lot of dirt because I want to set up some good sized farms. And my main holdup right now is actually dirt. I've got a stack and a half of dirt so far. But how can I get my hands on more dirt? Like, I can craft it with biomass and slag. And centrifuge it and I can chisel it. Okay, so centrifuging is the way to go. Like this little farm here, I probably should go ahead and tear it out. But I want to get like a 9x9 nine nine farm of, say, spinach so I can start mass producing emeralds. Although, still, that's just not a great way to do things. Um, because I have to manually do it all. If I get a massive farm of wheat going, I can feed that to a, uh, to a business bee. Because he can sell wheat off. Uh, 18 wheat for an emerald, roughly. So I should get an emerald now. Now, potatoes in village trade is 15 for an emerald. 
So potatoes might be a better option, honestly. Uh, poisonous potatoes, just for the vat, okay. Uh, pumpkins, it was like, what, six? Eight. Pumpkin farm, they're easier to automate, especially with vanilla beans. So that's an option as well. Now where have I been storing my melons? Here we go. And any capsule and you're out of wood again. That's kind of the other thing. Is this carpenter only has a limited inventory? So it's hard to keep everything stocked up in here. Like beeswax. And probably and yeah, 80 wood. 80 seems like a decent enough number, I guess. Hey, more honey. Sweet. Alright, what's next for actual bees, though? Because that's pretty much it. Let's want to make a solar panel, too, which I can make, but. We're going to energy bees, not a huge priority. Uh, career bees, I never did claim the steel sword. Sure, might as well do that. Uh, science bee, PhD in industrious. Thief bee was a, oh yeah, a sinister police. And Yinti and graduate for priest. Randomly enchants things. And then a honey smelter. Iron and uh, honey ingots. Mm, yeah, I might hold off on that for a bit. So crystal, the redstone bee was... It's bread from the obsidian bee, I remember that much. Silicon plus redstone is redstone alloy. Okay, so redstone is obsidian plus steadfast. 16% of the chance. Or chance, right? Do I have any extra, like, steadfast queens here? I have, I have pristine steadfast. I don't know if I want to use that or not. Do I have any, ooh, I have no yentis. me that and you're just gonna go in here you're gonna concentrate on making up uh me those more of the uh the stuff and things right more pheromones there's that and there's that and i need a flower pedestal which if I remember correctly was just like a flower. Flower and three sticks. Which, hey, I seem to have sticks in here. And now a sharpening bee. There. And did you have any... Eh, there was a royal jelly you got. And, well, you did pop off an emerald and then you died. So let's go feed the junk seller. Let's get that moved over. I'm really starting to hit the point where I need 10 so I can... I really do. I need 10 so I can progress. That's where I'm at, actually. Save up more spinach. So, uh, let's see, 10 ingot from forestry. 
is from 10 dust from Kirby's? No. Ah, Thermal 10. There we go. 10 dust from Morbies? No. Indrio. Pulverized. That's it. 10 grains comes from 10 combs from Tarnished. Oh, yeah. Tarnished is tropical, marshy, and resilient. Which I've got both of those bees. I don't have an environment around here that they would enjoy. The heater would probably help. But those guys are humidity based as well. So that's something I have to think about is. Well. What do we got here? Uh, I got a swarmer. Fan, heater, agro regulator. That's probably. I need six glass, two iron. Do we have that manual around still somewhere? Oh, I got a quest book. There it is. Uh, beekeeping, alviary. That's it. It doesn't go into the extra stuff now, does it? Hmm. All right, so the hydro regulator is what I want. And two iron, six glass. Now, that's the thing is, I don't have a whole lot of... Which I do. <laughs> I do have a whole lot of glass. Well, potential glass. Bunch of bricks, and I'll just take a nap while we're waiting. But if I add water to it, to the hydro regulator, it'll... uh do the thing. Oh, come on. I need, really just should hook up some smelter bees and call it good. Now, frame. There was Sweet Oblivion. No, that's a uh, Horror metabolic magic. Necrotic. No, it was. Here we go. Eternal frame. Production time zero, though. Yeah, that's a problem. Here, cook some sand up, would you? But it'll make it so your bees never die. I wonder if that'll still let these guys run forever. Like, you know, the repair bees, or my energy bees, or, or what have you. But the production being zero, that's probably not for the best, honestly. My energy cell is full. That's more honey. And you are full of god everything. Well, I'm thinking I might need to hook up something just to this. I have a hopper, don't I? Well, I do have a redstone engine as well. I could do like that, that, and... Chest, right? Come on, there it goes. I think my mouse is starting to die a little bit. Oh, well. Is what it is. Now the other thing I need is a lever to power the engine with. Hmm. Damn. So there's a uh, energy conduit right underneath it. I can't hook up at the bottom like I wanted to. I've got a work table right behind it. Ah, sides. There's never enough. That's why you use conduits, folks. Alright, um...
So it has to be on this side pretty much. Well, if I put you down, yeah, you're gonna hook up to that stencil table too. This is not that important anymore. So you can probably go away. And we'll put our chest right here. So they can still act, oh, you're gonna pump into the table though. So. And if I break you, you're gonna lose all your um, recipes. So, untreated frame, magic frame. Toss you in here. Enchanting drops. Yeah, I still have no idea. And it might be like a farm crafty thing. So it might actually be time for me to consider moving all of this. Not something I'm looking forward to, however. That's there's a lot of items here to to deal with. Now snowballs are not being moved. Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked here. So I needed, needed those. Get some more bricks. And I need an alveary block. I need like a couple iron. Alviary Hygro Regulator. There you go. You're still going. Awesome. I love how it does retain its inventory. That's quite handy. Put those four back. Oh, wrong chest. Now, what can you use regular bricks for? Uh, flower pots, bricks. All the Pam stuff. Stuff and things. Coke ovens. Sand and brick. That's an idea though. I should probably get into that. I wonder if I can make a red one. Hey look, sign got sidetracked again. Uh that one. Well there's twelve. Probably get my sandy bees going again, honestly. So if I take and I add water to this, to this wonderful tank in here, right? Which I do have a bunch of these guys. Then what I can do is, uh, let's see, go through, uh, let's make some untreated frames here. And Alviary frame holder. Give me some of these. And I don't have a place to put this. Uh, do, 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 do. Here, you. You come with me. Uh, you're going to go actually in here. And I'll be a frame holder. You got DNT, didn't you? Oh, well, that I've already had a DNT in it anyway, so we're good.
And this is going to be for my, my Rusties, right? Oh, no, not you. All right, there we go. So I'm going to move these glorious bastards here over to here. There we go. It's going to take a second. You're going to find your flowers and all that fun stuff. And that way I can toss this into here. And now it's damp. So if I go... Uh, let's see. Obsidians. Obsidian B. And then I need a Mega like Marshy. Let me pick those up. You are my... Okay, yeah. You're the mundane bee. Ah, pristine princess. And then we're going to grab that out. And one of these. So, you can be mutation. You can be oblivion. You and you can go into there. This is automated, though. That's a problem. There's my NT back. Problem solved. So I've decided I'm going to move all these machines after I'm done processing the current loadout. Marshy, marshy, marshy. No. That's why I have extra obsidians, though. I just... The only reason I stopped the obsidian bee was because I was running out of room to store obsidian combs. Also, these rocky combs are just... They're just a bit of a junky item. And now you're complaining it's too dark. I wonder if alveary light blocks need power. There we go. Hey, emerald. And you can go there. Proven frame. Provens are nice. You can only get those by trading. So now you, you did not get sharpened yet. Why you no sharpen? Does that affect repair on it? Oh, damn it. Uh, but career bees only have that effect if they're uh, purebred. Like if their effect actually reaches the... Uh... Now you though, you're my PhDs. You have retraining. All right, so what I can do is grab my Sharpening Queen, make that go away. Flower Pedestal there. Retrain her, would you? Might take a bit, but... How are you doing anyway? 62 durability. Oh, hey, I've got an extra Yenti. Guess what? You're done. Also, how are we doing here? 10 pheromones is good. Ah, there's a tree in the way. There. And marshy obsidian. Okay, well, at least that happens, so I don't have to go get another one. You're doing your thing, and let's go pop over to the nether here. Let's see how we're doing with our uh, our hell bees.
Hey, simmering combs. Nice. And I actually have uh, Yenti pheromones now, so I can I can automate you. Now I don't have to worry so much about it. Alright, well. And if I'm going to be using a hydro regulator, I probably should get some damp combs going. So that way I can at least have a constant supply of water. I don't have to, to manually bucket in and out. Speaking of which, how is that doing? Getting kind on the low side already. Jeez. This is the point where I would like to have a uh, an immersive engineering jerry can because that'll hold ten buckets at once. And obsidian, marshy. Yeah, losing that uh, that mutating frame hurt. Oh, working on rocky combs now though. And two more of you. I'm going to here. Two? Old. Oh, crap. Okay. So the other thing the hydro regulator does is water will also lower the temp while it increases the humidity. So now it's offsetting this heater. I can probably make another one though. Do I still have my things though? That's my electron tubes. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, heater. And that was what? Three smooth stone and an iron. And I'm missing the alveary block that I put back in here, didn't I? Okay. Alright, and done. Of course you did. Go ahead and get rid of those clockworks because I got my energy be stabilized now. And she's nice and happy. And my clockwork was going to go ahead and pick up the slack on that now. And now it's warm enough that they can do stuff. Okay, cool. Now, there's my clockwork. Get a stone slab out to patch the hole I just punched into the world. There we go. And what are we looking at here? Marshy, of course. Marshy plus obsidian, please. Why am I doing marshy and obsidian? Oh, I just realized what I'm doing. And that is, I need marshy resilient, not obsidian. Oh, no. Okay, I've screwed that bee up. <laughs> screwed that, really screwed that bee up. Uh, you still, okay, you're leaden. Cool. All right, well, you breed true now. Okay, cool. Locked up with marshy, resilient. Hey, how's my hydro regulator doing? Uh, we still have water. Okay. Oh, that was almost bad. 
I got to think about two bees that I wanted to breed up. One for the questing and one so I can actually you know, do quests other ways. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I kind of did that, didn't I? No, you're going to make common. No, no, no. Right. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call us an episode. I am trying to record this at 6.30 in the morning, and obviously this is not a good idea. Um, yeah. You are a resilient obsidian. All right, well, I can might be able to work with that. I could probably toss a tropical in there. And hopefully... Tropical Queen, Throne, Queen, Princess, Pristine Princess, all right. You plus that, right? Yeah, no, obviously didn't work out for me. And then I went and grabbed some crossbred resilience and that backfired. This needs a block of copper as a base. How much copper grains? I can make four or five. Did you get poisoned again? You did. That would be this thing. Resilient plus marshy now. Uh, marshy bees have a poison effect. The good news is, uh, my doctors, if I actually had them running, they will, uh, they have region effect. Like enhanced Imperials, which is nice. I need more boxes. Uh, yeah, I need to just buckle down and do some building. So, on top of everything else. But good news is, I'm getting a lot of stone blocks now. Do we have, like, a architect saw bench in here? No, no we don't. I may go and add that mod, actually. Architecture craft. Uh, resilient. Do I not have any? Okay, I got a marshy here. All right. Yeah, I may add in um, architecture craft just so I can be a little bit builder, better about building with basically stone and wood. And all the bees can go away. I do have more marshies on me, or, well, available, so not horrible. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. I thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, plain signing out. Have fun.